minus 121 under square root times minus 121 under square root upon 12 times square root of 5 minus 29 all under square root. We have to simplify it without using calculator. Let's try. So first of all we have to understand what to do with minus or negative sign inside the square root. Whenever there is negative sign inside the square root, we write it like this. This is minus 1 times a. And then this is equal to minus 1 under square root times a under square root. And this minus 1 under square root, we denote it as i. So this is equal to i times square root of a. So minus 121 under square root, this we can write minus 1 under square root times 121 under square root then times minus 1 under square root times 121 under square root upon 12 times 5 under square root minus 29 all under square root so minus 1 under square root this we can write i times 121 times 121 is 121 under square root whole square and minus 1 under square root times minus 1 under square root this will be i square upon 12 times square root of 5 minus 29 under square root also i square is equal to minus 1. So this will be minus 1 times 121 under square root whole square we can remove the square root with the square so it is 121 upon 12 times square root of 5 minus 29 under square root. We can multiply and divide it by minus 1. So it will become 121 upon 29 minus 12 times square root of 5 under square root. Now we can rationalize the denominator. To rationalize it, we multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator. So 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 or 121 times 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b. So in the form of differences of square it is equal to a square minus b square. So we can write it as 29 square minus 12 times square root of 5 square under square root or 121 times 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon 29 square is the number 4 841 minus this is 12 square times square root of 5 square under square root or 121 times 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon 841 minus 12 square is 144 remove the square root with the square times 5 so it will be 121 times 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon 841 minus 12 square is 144 times 5 so 841 minus 720 or 121 times 29 plus 12 times square root of 5 upon 841 minus 720 is 121. So remove 120, 121 like factors. Now we have 29 plus 12 times square root of 5. So for the simplify it we need to remove the square root. So if we can write this term in terms of a plus minus b whole square then this whole square can remove the square root 29 we can write it as 20 plus 9 plus 12 as 2 times 2 times 3 times square root of 5 or 20 plus 9 plus 2 times 3 we can 2 write as 4 under square root then times 5 under square root. Now we know when square root of a times square root of b we can write it as 
8 times b under square root. So this will be 20 plus 9 plus 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 under square root. Now 20 we can write it as square root of 20 square because the square will remove the square root. It will be equal to 20. 9 is 3 square plus 2 times 3 times 20 under square root. Now if you consider a as square root of 20 and b as 3 then this is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2ab. So this we can write it as square root of 20 plus 3 whole square under square root. Now remove the square root with the square square root of 20 plus 3 square root of 20 we can write it as 2 square times 5 or it will be 2 times square root of 5 plus 3. So this is the final answer. So this is equal to 2 times square root of 5 plus 3. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.